Before the Nebataeans chiseled the amazing facades that define how we now see the city of Petra, water did the hard work of shaping the site and preparing it as a template and tribute to human ingenuity and imagination. For thousands of years, gushing floodwaters carved out what was to become Petra. But after humans set their sights on the place, floods became an unwelcome force, a threat to man and monument. So Nebataean ingenuity was deployed to stop the flooding and control its impact. This is uh, the site of Wadi Lehremiya, which is one of the tributaries that flows into Petra. And the flooding comes into the basin of Petra from many different sources. Uh, one of the most significant ones uh, is actually Wadi Lehremiya, which uh, floods directly into the uh, treasury area. Uh, management of the flood uh, from this site uh, has to be conducted uh, to protect the ancient city of Petra. Our project has a, a really nice component because it looks at the wadis and the valleys and the watersheds surrounding the area of treasury that ultimately leads into the treasury and it keeps, uh, well, it studies how much water flows in there. Uh, the interventions that we're doing in this project are uh, hard interventions that involve reconstruction of terraces and check dams. But in order for us to do a proper design of those interventions and in order for us to really understand the dynamics of the flow, uh, we needed to instrument it. Many of the studies that have been done in the past that I refer to are more qualitative in nature. Very few are quantitative. And that's where our work comes into play. We have developed, designed and constructed, actually we built our own monitoring system that involved monitoring the rainfall throughout the whole Petra watershed. Not only in the wadi that we're interested in, uh, we've installed rain gauges in several locations uh, in order to monitor the overall precipitation that takes place in the region. We're conducting this study using uh, advanced remote sensing, advanced uh, hydrological studies, and uh, traditional uh, documentation of the archaeological uh, remains. Uh, those have been designed at the German Jordanian University laboratories. Uh, they have been uh, constructed from basic low-cost uh, electronics and uh, they have been tested rigorously in the lab and they've been installed on site uh, for different uh, for for the past season and they've they have recorded some very valuable information so uh, Wadi Lehremiya uh, was managed through uh, the construction of a large number of terraces and check dams and gabions which controlled the flow of water and uh, tempered it in a way that uh, uh, created a proper management tool uh, for flooding. Obviously, in the 2,000 years that have passed, a lot of disrepair has happened, uh, a lot of siltation and uh, destruction of these terraces. And the project that we're embarking on is a project of rehabilitation of this flood control system. This instrumentation is very important for our overall understanding of the dynamics of Petra, the dynamics of the hydraulics and hydrology of Petra, and it, its value will go way beyond the uh, existing project. It will help us build a database, it will help us understand holistically the uh, precipitation patterns and the runoff patterns, and hopefully, ultimately, it would help us with the sediment uh, load analysis as well. من خلال هذا المشروع تم تدريب عدد من موظفي محمية البتراء الأثرية حول الطرق المتبعة في بناء السدود والمصاطب خلال فترة وجود الأنباط حيث تم اكتساب المعرفة وسيتم 
استخدام هاي الخبرات خلال المشاريع اللاحقة والمتعلقة ببناء السدود والمصاطب النبطية شاركنا في ورشة عمل من قبل الجامعة الألمانية والمدعومة من صندوق السفير الأمريكي اشتغلنا في هذه الورشة على توثيق المصاطب الأثرية الموجودة في منطقة هريمية في البتراء هذه المصاطب الأثرية يستخدموها الأنباط قديمة للسيطرة على ال على المخزون المائي خلينا نحكي في البتراء، احنا هدفنا في هذه الورشه على توثيق هذه التجهيزه لاعاده ترميمها في المستقبل واعاده استخدامها في الماضي، لان يمكن اكتشفنا انه افضل طريقه للسيطره على الفيضانات المائيه بالسير او السيطره على المشاكل المائيه بالصيف البتراء هي من خلال اعاده نفس النظام اللي كانوا يستخدمونه الانبار القديم. So we have a true multidisciplinary project here which takes into consideration uh, uh, the, all of the uh, disciplines that are uh, relevant to understanding uh, such a process. And of course, the whole objective in the end is to serve the community and to serve the management plans of Petra uh, in a way that's uh, both uh, sustainable and uh, respectful of the integrity of the site. <laughs>